What is up guys, Awesome Nurcho here, back again playing Ark Survival Evolved on the Ragnarok server. I'm here today, I'm just digging up for some bones. Gotta get these bones, gotta collect all the bones. I'm actually doing somewhat decent on the bones, like, uh, oh gosh, what did I do? I'm in some sort of weird, there we go. I was in first person, so I'm gathering up the bones, of course, trying to get the costumes, and that kind of leads into what I want to do. Ooh, another one. More bones. Give me all the bones. That one had three. Got a whole big old stack of bones there. Um, so just sticking them in this cooking pot over here. So we got up to 116. And I want to get the costumes. Ooh, I forgot about the Dillo uh, mask thing too. I'd love to get like all of these costumes. But of course I doubt I will. Unless I, there's, I can find some code or something to spawn in a bunch of bones. Because I don't have all the time in the world to go around hunting all these bones. But I can definitely try and get these um, actual costumes. So of course we got the Stiggy Lock already. We still have the Styraca, Styracosaurus that goes on the trike, and then the Brachiosaurus, which is what I want to try and do because I do have enough. So today I want to try and get a Bronto, so I can try and get this, or a T-Rex. Those are the two, so I have Narcotic, Trank Darts, all sorts of stuff in here ready to go. I've got Behemoth Gates to try and trap one so I don't have to worry about it running away from me because that seems to always be the issue. Um, so, ooh, there's another bone thing. I must have had it when I was running around over this way earlier. Any more boats? I need boats. Um, but so I want to get one of those two. Like I said, I know um, a T-Rex would be awesome, which is what I really want. But finding one on the island or on the yeah the Ragnarok server here, that's a good level. It's kind of hard. Hopefully my graphics and everything are doing okay for you. Um, like I said, my frame rate's not showing too bad, but it kind of looks weird. I kind of upped some stuff because stuff was just looking horrible. And so I tried to up some of the graphics in the game settings. And to me, like, the rocks don't look too good, but they don't look... They look better than what they did. Ooh, there's more bones. So it's just kind of weird and confusing. But I'm going to try and find... Like, I've seen plenty of Brontos, like, where I built, of course, my, our new taming pin, which I forgot to mention from last episode. We have our taming pin that we built over towards, I guess, Vikings Bay, I think it was called. And we got the Pachyrhinosaurus right there, as you can see me looking at right there. That one, the 216 Pachyrhino that we used to, to tame. Like I said, it's not as big as I want, because I was hoping you could, like, get a t-rex in there but i don't think you can but of course i know there's brontos and everything here so i'm just gonna fly around there and see if i can find any good level brontos or t-rexes to get tamed up for the day i guess we'll start over here and look for t-rexes and everything but once i find something i'll bring it back and we'll get it all tamed up okay so i'm over here in the volcano lava area and i found a 145 t-rex here and i have a trap set up over you can't see it i guess because the loading but over by that little plateau thing so i'm gonna try and get it to follow me hit it once and then we're gonna try and get it to follow me in there hopefully um it's kind of at a weird angle because there's a big giant rock i thought i could break in the front of it but there's it's not breakable so kind of have some issues there so I have to lead it into this there you can see it loading in so I'll just kind of lead it over this way let it get a little nibble okay or it's gonna attack a parasaur I may have to cut this out let it just there we go I'll attack the parasaur there we go come on Rexy it's not a tech Rex unfortunately but that's all I could really find Go ahead and see I gotta lead it in through the door sideways like this. I'm gonna lead it down to this side. Like this. And then fly back around. And hopefully it doesn't escape. What the heck? I'm stuck on trees. There we go. And so we got it trapped in there. There we stuck on these stupid trees. So he should be all trapped in there and I can come up here now and land on this thing. Hopefully nothing dangerous will come like birds or anything. And now we should be able to just stand up here and shoot the T-Rex. Hopefully it doesn't get... See, I was hoping I wouldn't place it too close into the corner there. And I could just stand up here and shoot. Um, I may need to try and see if I can get on that thing corner there. Of course you can shoot from the Griffin so... 
Um, I actually probably wouldn't do too well. I was going to say maybe I can uh, see if we can do it. Nope, hit the thing, top of the thing. I may have to, yep, do reposition myself, but I'm going to get this all knocked out and tamed and everything, and I'll bring it back once it's knocked out. And there it goes down. So we finally got it all knocked out. As you can see, I landed up here and then walked across on this thing to be able to shoot it a lot better. So let's go down here. Of course, I need to like kill some stuff, but I'm pretty sure there's brano, low level Branos in the area. I can just kill with this or kill with the Griffin and get some stuff on it. So let's see. There it is. It's like, how do I get into it? Um, so it's got 5,000 health. I don't know exactly what to look at. Good weight, melee damage 200 and something. So I guess it's okay. I mean, like I said, I don't know exactly what I'm supposed to be looking for. But let's go ahead and fly out back over this way. And I'm going to kill some Brontos. Ooh, there's like an RG and stuff. RGs do give, uh, what you would call it, prime meat. And I can, I got 26 prime meat there. That should be pretty good for a little bit if I can like I said there's Brondos and everything I can just go kill so I'm gonna get this all tamed up and I think time wise we may have enough time I may try and do a Bronto as well go over to where I built my taming pin and look for a Bronto there um, of a decent level and tame it up as well so we will let's go ahead and get the proper prime meat there we go Oops, I want to grab a couple extra stacks as well. There we go. And let's put this on the T-Rex here. Just unload all of the meat. And hopefully this will get it tamed up. And I need to work on getting a saddle and everything. Drop all the berries accidentally picked up. And we should be good to go getting the Rex all tamed up and it should be good in this little area of no dinos able to get into it so I can fly back to the base and make the saddle and everything and hopefully it will stay unconscious and everything so I will see you when it's tamed up and I'll be back with the saddle so I'll see you then and the Rex got all tamed up so I went back to the base and crafted up the saddles for oh, it must have just been the Rex someone's making a weird noise that didn't sound like a normal T-Rex but I made the saddles here so we got the saddle put on there so now we're all awesome or good to go there and then i did make also a bronto one so we can go look for the bronto and i made some more darts i did uh get some stops so before i even got to the rex i stopped and got a red drop and got a journeyman pump action shotgun which is awesome because i have a shotgun and i didn't like it and so now that we have journeyman one it's probably going to be a lot better and then i got some blueprints here or i got an rg uh ascendant rg saddle which is awesome and then an ascendant pterodon blueprint which is awesome as well let's go ahead and add some points i don't know we'll go ahead and do melee damage first i know we gotta walk it back to the base now which is gonna be a whole lot of fun i can already tell um but now i think i'm i'm trying to decide if i want to go ahead and walk it i probably will go ahead and walk it back to the base i need to of course pick up all of these um let's go ahead and take put you on uh neutral here Take your target neutral so we're gonna walk back to the base now and i gotta pick up all of these walls and everything oops wrong one just keep switching back and forth but i gotta pick up all of these doors and everything now oh snap what does that mean i don't know what that red means on the trike there for sure don't know for sure hopefully it's nothing dangerous but uh, of course if it is i've got all sorts of stuff to do it so i'm gonna get the trike back to the base and then i'll bring him back once we find a bronto to get all tamed up so i will see you then okay so i found a 140 bronto over here and so i'm gonna try hopefully there's nothing dangerous around here i don't think there is but i'm gonna try this um like trick type thing where you just like kind of it's the bigger was the one that's standing here sideways and so you just try and like trap them in but it looks like of course it's moving away i can't tell which one it is i think it's yeah i may have to kill the other one and may have to pick up this door again um this would be a time nice time to not have s plus gates where you can uh
There we go. I should probably left that one there, but oh well. Um, because now this one's mad, so I gotta get it a not angry anymore. Um, but I'm gonna try and just get a little, build a little cage around it and trap it in and everything. I'm gonna fly over here to try and get it uh, de angry, but I'm gonna try and get it trapped in, then we'll knock it out and then tame us up a Bronto. They, there was one here too that probably would have been easier. It was like 135, but I saw the higher level one, so I'm going for that. Um, but I'm going to get it trapped and uh, start knocking out everything when I bring it back. So I'll see you then. So I got the Bronto trapped in there, so hopefully it will stay. Let's see if I can try and like land up here again. Nope. I don't know if I need a bigger like angle. Okay, Griffin. Just start being weird, I guess. So of course it's got its head sticking out of the pin. No, I want to land on the thing because I can't. Actually, I may. Of course, it'll probably be able to hit me though because I think there's a big gap under one of these doors. Maybe I can like squeeze in there and start shooting at it or something. Yeah, like right there. But let's just see what we can do. Of course, I think it'll start aggroing the Bronto though. There we go. So I'm going to get this knocked out in some way, shape, or form. I see, I don't think we can shoot it through the gate here. I don't think it... Oh, I guess it does. So hopefully I can do this and I'll just get it knocked out this way. So I'm going to shoot it and once it goes down, I'll bring you right back. See you then. And it finally got knocked out so the trap did work and everything. Now I just got to get it all tamed up and hopefully nothing dangerous will come up and attack it but let's go ahead and come in here and i did grab a bunch of uh the yeah medjo berries to be able to stick on it so that we can you know have plenty enough to tame it up so let's come in here put them on our bronto stick them all in there and hopefully that'll be enough to tame it and then i got nor narcotic and stuff if i need it and so that was i guess fun and awesome level 40 male or 140 male bronto and it's taming up already so that's cool so it probably will take a while but I'll bring it back and once again my frames are going like crazy um, but I'll bring it back of course once you get it all tamed up we'll put the saddle that we made on it and everything so I will see you then and there we have it the Bronto finally tamed up um, I don't think I have any names that I thought of for it but let's go ahead take it off of following me and then we'll go ahead and pick up all of these doors and everything real quick just to get it all cleared out of the way well, there's the Bronto it took forever to t to get tamed up but that's how Brontos are since you have to feed them by berry and they eat a lot and they're ginormous animals so that's just what we have to deal with pick up all the doors door come on door door and the last door and there we go so now we can put you're kind of floating on the ground are you a magical Bronto Bronto magic before my eyes. Let's go ahead and put our saddle on us. We got the Bronto uh, platform saddle. That's what I was trying to say. And then I um, picked up some more bone drops while they spawned around here. And one of them gave me a blueprint for Apprentice Riot chest piece, which is pretty cool that I got that. Um, let's go ahead and we'll definitely need to get stamina and movement speed put on this thing because it's going to be so slow. Let's go ahead and see if we can get our griffin up here and maybe land it on the platform. I don't know if it'll stay on here or anything, but we'll just have to see how it goes. Maybe a nice fun way to, I've never had a platform saddle, so it's kind of fun. Um, wrong one. There we go. Oh yeah, the griffin does ride on it. That's pretty cool. Oh, we're riding with the griffin. Hopefully it doesn't fall off, but that's pretty cool and fun. That we have that, like I said, hopefully it doesn't fall off. But if it does, I can just pick it back up. But that's it for all the dinos. So now we got to get back. Then we can make craft up the Brachiosaurus uh, costume and put it onto our Bronto here. Even though I really do like the look. But obviously can tame another one um, whenever I feel or want to or whatever. I can tame up another Bronto. And then I'll Brachio and Bronto. Let's go. But I'm going to walk this Bronto all the way back to the base, which will take probably five hours. <laughs> Not really, but it'll seem like it. But I'm going to walk it all the way back to the base. And when we get back to the base, oh snap, 
Um, I will bring it back and we'll put the saddle on and then end off the episode there. So I'll see you back at base. Okay, so I got the Brano all the way back to the base delivered here. I had some issues though because the uh, Griffin got lost. It was following us and got stuck or something and got lost. So I had to come back, grab the train and on, fly back and try and figure out where it was. So we got our Rex and our Brontosaurus all tamed up there so we're here back in the base let's run over here real quick and do our bones thing to get the brachiosaurus costume which of course will be a little hard to see here in the dark um whoa where's my thing there it is so we got 44 more bones let's go ahead oh yeah i forgot to light the fire and we will craft one brachiosaurus and we can go ahead and do this one we have just enough to craft up the other costume as well. So we'll go ahead and do both of those. So we got our Brachiosaurus costume. And then we got the other one, whatever it's called. Let's run over here and place them on, the, put the one on the trike real quick. Ooh, it looks like another bone pile there. So let's go ahead and place this costume on there. And there it is. So it's got one giant horn here in the middle, which looks weird because it has a little stick off or the little pokey part off. And then I love like the neon blue like color that's all over it. It looks really cool. It's got the horns there at the top, the two holes there in the center, and that just looks awesome. So I need another trike so I can put that on. Now let's put on the Brachiosaurus costume onto the Bronto. And here we go. Ah, oh, and there it is. And of course, it's going to be hard to see because it's all the way up there. Uh, let's go ahead and get onto it. I like, you can already see the like skin difference that they did. So let's go ahead. So there you can see all the color differences. It's a nice green. It looks all wrinkly. Like look at its neck right there. It's all wrinkly. Let's see, can we zoom out enough to see its head? There it is. There we have the Brachiosaurus head. So that's what you see in like the first Jurassic Park movie and everything that sneezes on the girl in tree. Of course the costume doesn't fit on it very well. It's kind of sticking through. But it shouldn't be too bad. But that is cool. I'm so excited to finally have that. So that's going to be it for this episode. And I hope you enjoyed. Um, so th by the way, this is the 4th of July. So I hope you are having a good and awesome 4th of July. And being safe out there and everything. So just to kind of celebrate and end this episode off. Um, I hope you guys all saw that video I did last year. Where I did like whole 4th of July on ARC and stuff. Where I, you just did like pretty much all sorts of stuff you do on the 4th of July here in America. I just kind of did it in ARC. But just to celebrate, we're going to have some fun here. So since it's nighttime and everything, we're going to shoot off some uh, uh, rocket or what do we call them fireworks and everything just kind of have them going off there you can see amazing fireworks going off there in the sky kind of just celebrating the 4th of July having all sorts of fun and everything going on today so I hope you had an awesome 4th of July and if you did, let me know in the comments down below. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel to see more ARC videos. Oh, they're all kind of gone now. But I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching, and we'll see you next time.